Hi everyone, thank you for watching. So today I am back with another video from my color series. Today I am going to be doing the color orange and I have so many orange favorites and I would have to say I think for this summer my favorite lip color is definitely orange. I'm going to go through a bunch of my favorites and then after that I'm going to show you how I got this makeup look because I've seen so many of you guys requesting it and it just so happened that when I wore this makeup look I used an orange color in my crease and then I have the orange lips so I thought it would be a perfect time to do the color orange so if you guys want to hear a few of my favorite products please keep watching first I'm going to start out with lipsticks because I have a bunch of orange lipsticks that I wanted to share with you guys I'm gonna be doing I guess maybe a couple peach colors along with some brighter orange colors just to kind of kill two birds with one stone the color that I have on my lips and definitely one of my favorites this summer is dose of colors in the color koi this is the perfect orange color and it's so pigmented and so bright and I am so pleasantly surprised with all of their lipsticks they are definitely worth every single penny next up by color drain I have the color candy girl this is like an orangey pink color but I absolutely love this color I love the finish of it I also love how pigmented they are I do have a new coupon code for color drain lipsticks so if you guys are in the market for really pigmented lipsticks I back these up hundred percent they are so amazing Amazing. Another one of my favorites is this bright orange color. It's called Sweet Nectar by Milani and I've used this in a bunch of videos. One thing that I recommend for you guys is don't go out and buy every single color lipstick. It's not necessary. You can mix colors together to get another color. So if you are looking for a light orange color and you just only have a bright orange, try mixing the bright orange along with a nude color and you will get a very similar color to the more peachy light orange colors. So don't think I'm recommending you guys to go out and buy every single shade of lipstick. I'm just sharing with you guys some of my favorites. So if you are looking for one particular color, I'm going to swatch all of them and then you could see maybe which color is going to be best for you. The next hot orange color that I have is by NYX and it's called Hot Tamale. And this is a nice, really deep, bright red orange color. Also by NYX, I have the Macaroon Lipstick in Orange Blossom. These Macaroon Lipsticks are awesome. I have every single shade and they are really pigmented as well. And they're super affordable, which is always great. Another awesome orange is by Lime Crime. This one is called Cosmo Pop and it's like a light orange shade. These are also very pigmented, the Lime Crimes. And I love the cases for them. They're so cute. Moving on to MAC lipsticks, I have a few that I absolutely love. The first one is called Riot House by Kelly Osborne, the MAC collection. This one is amazing and I went to this MAC launch and when I got there I was like third in line and it was already sold out when I had got there which was so upsetting because this was the one that I wanted the most. Later on that day I ended up in Garden State Plaza Mall and I ran into one of my subscribers. I actually ran into her right by the MAC counter and I was like, oh my god, did you get any of the new collections? Like, I waited online like a loser and I didn't even get the freaking color that I wanted so she was like, well, I happen to have two of them because I got one for my mom and I found out my mom actually went and got one herself. So she just handed it to me and was like, I want you to have this. And I'm like, no, I cannot take this. Seriously, please let me give you money for it. And she was like, I do not want to take money for it. We took a picture. I hugged her like 50 times and then we were on our way. But that was literally the coolest thing that's ever happened to me. Like, you guys don't even realize when I get to meet you guys, just meeting you alone is enough. But the fact that she wanted to give me one of these limited edition lipsticks, I was just so excited and it was so unnecessary, but so awesome. So I treasure this one. So the other MAC lipsticks that I have are Tangerine Dream which is this one. This is a really pretty yellow orange. I think I use this one in my lipstick shades for summer videos. The next one is Sushi Kiss. This one is also like a pinkish orange. I love this one. And the third is called CB96. And I recently just got this one and I had to get it because it was said CB, which are my initials. So obviously I had to get it. But it's a really pretty peachy bronze color and I love this one as well. Next up I have a few orange lip glosses and one matte balm. Um, the first lip gloss is by Color Your Smile. I always mention these glosses but they're so pigmented. This one is in the color Salmon so it's a really really pretty bright orange color. The next one is by Dose of Colors. This color is called Sunshine Kisses and this looks really pretty over the Koi gloss. I mean lipstick. It's basically the same color but in a lip gloss form. And the third one is by Revlon. These are the matte bombs. I've mentioned a few of these in other videos. These are perfect to bring with you for on the go, like really quick, nice little lip stain. I will again show you swatches of all of these. I 
I have three lip liners that I wanted to share. So the first one is by NYX in the color Citrus. Then I have by Makeup Forever um, 24C. And the third one is by NYX and it's called Nectar. Next I have by L'Oreal this Magic Skin Beautifier in Anti-Fatigue. I believe I use this in my beach slash pool video. What I wanted to let you guys know about an orange tint is that if you have grayish skin or fatigued looking skin, like just dull looking skin, the orange is going to really brighten up your face. So I love this BB cream. One thing you have to remember with this is you have to shake it really well because otherwise it's going to come out kind of orange. If you shake it, it's more of your skin tone color with an orange hue. So it's not pure orange. So just make sure to shake it really well when you're using this. That was the one thing that I saw people asking why it was so orange. But just make sure to shake it and then you're all set. So a new product that I got is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I had the original one which I absolutely love but now they're coming out with a million different shades and you can custom create your own kit. So for this I added an orange powder and again it's going to do the same thing. It's good for brightening up your skin. Moving on to eye products. By Sigma I have this base called Neutralize and it's a really pretty orange base. I have a few of the shades from Sigma for the eyeshadow bases but to be honest sometimes I'll just use a concealer in place of my eyeshadow base but if you want the eyeshadow to look really pigmented and you're trying to get a really bright color I would suggest using a base the same color as the eyeshadow that you're planning on using. I've used this Neutralize base in, I don't remember which video it was but I know I used it recently and I really love these bases. Also by Sigma I have the color Ginger Pumpkin and as I mentioned in my last color series I like keeping these shadows in the casing because they have these cute little dots on them to tell the color and also show a color. So I have a nice jaw that's all organized by the colors and I think that was a really genius idea because sometimes when you just buy too much makeup it all kind of gets lost so to have a nice way to organize it I think is really important. Another orange shadow that's just absolutely beautiful is by MAC. This is called Pink Bronze and I've had this forever. It's nowhere near empty. That's the one thing I love about MAC. Not the one thing. I love a million things about it but the pe MAC pigments. They last forever and they're so amazing. When you use the pigment, make sure to wet your brush with either Fix Plus, eye drop something to keep it wet. That way you're going to get the richest color of the pigment. And this one is called Pink Bronze, but it comes out nice and orangey. The next two eyeshadow palettes that I wanted to show you I actually used to create this makeup look. The first one is the Galaxy Chic Palette by BH and this one has a really really pretty mineralized orange color and this is the one that I use in my crease. I love how pigmented this palette is and I could go on and on about BH, you guys know how much I love it already so we'll leave it at that. And the second BH palette is the Take Me to Brazil palette and it has a few orange shades in it, it's a nice range of colors of the rainbow. I use this lime green color to line my lower lash line along with the mint color from actually the Galaxy Chic palette as well. And for orange blushes, I have a few like peachy color blushes but I wanted to just share with you guys this one palette that I mention all the time. This palette has a perfect orange um, blush right here and then it has like a peachy colored blush right here and I don't know, I have a million blushes but I always tend to just grab this palette. They're really pigmented, they do exactly what I want, it's not too much but it's like the perfect amount. For a foundation primer, I'm obsessed with this Smashbox one. It's a color correcting primer, it's like a salmon colored so again it's going to help brighten up your face, help give you an even complexion to start out your makeup look. I've been using this for like two years now, this is actually my second one that I went through and it's almost empty already which is crazy but yeah this is definitely one of my all time favorite um, base primers. And the last two products are some orange polishes that are just incredible. The one that I'm wearing right now that everyone has been asking about is called Flip Flop Flip Flop Flip Flop Fantasy and it is incredible. I even have it on my toes and it's awesome. This polish has lasted over a week on my nails and I didn't even use a top coat which is really cool. I just think it's such a great neon orange color and I think a million people have stopped me asking what color it was. So if you really want to stand out this summer, this is the perfect color. And the other one is a very similar color. This one's by Essie and it's called Tarte Deco and I think this is probably from their newer summer collection but it's like more of a light pinkish orange but it's also really beautiful. So that is it as far as my top orange products. Of course I have many others but those are definitely the top top favorites. So if you guys want to learn how to get this makeup look please keep watching. To start off this look I'm going to be priming my eyes with my Persuade eyeshadow base by Sigma.
Next, I'm going to be dipping my brush into my MAC Fix Plus, and then following that, I'm using my Vanilla Pigment. I'm applying this all over my eyelid, in my tear duct, and also under my brow. With a larger blending brush, I'm grabbing this orange shadow and I'm applying it right into the crease of my eye. Grabbing a smaller blending brush and this brown shadow, I'm then going to be applying this color right on the outer V of my eye. I'm also going to be blending it in my crease and up towards the orange color. To line my eyes, I'm using my new gel eyeliner by Sigma, it's called Wicked, and they also came out with this new eyeliner brush, and it's so incredible, it makes doing your eyeliner 100 times easier. For false lashes, I'm using Doll Me Up by Velour. I'm then taking this NYX Gold Glitter Liner and I'm going to be lining right above my black line. With my pencil brush and this mint color, I'm then lining my lower lash line. Right over that, I'm going to be grabbing this lime green color and I'm going to be applying it right above that mint line. For blush, I'm picking up this orange color and I'm going to be applying it right on the apples of my cheeks. For a highlighter, I'm using by Estee Lauder in Heat Wave. Next, I'm lining my lips with this NYX pencil, and then over that, I'm using my Dose of Colors, the color Koi. This part is optional, but next, I'm just lining my inner lash line with this black pencil. And then to top this look off, I'm just highlighting my Cupid's bow with the same MAC Vanilla pigment. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely go and check out my blog because not only am I going to be listing every single thing that I mentioned in this video, but I'm also going to be listing a few of my top orange fashion picks for those of you looking for a nice orange outfit. I'm going to browse around and get a bunch of my favorites to put together for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, I'll see you guys later.